I know what you're thinking. But Caleb, what are the best hit songs of the year 1990? Well, let's get into it, folks. As I've stated before, 1990 is a pretty weird year with the whole bridge between the late 80s into the early 90s. We see on the one hand, a Billy Idol song, but on the other hand, a lot of Mariah Carey. But still, it's a strange bridge between the decades. But I ended up liking it quite a bit. It was very tough for me to pick just 10 songs to label my favorites. But I think I managed to do it, so let's get into it. At number 10, All Around the World by Lisa Stansfield. I think everyone likes B Barry White. It's just a fact of nature. If you like music, you probably like a Barry White song. Case in point, even when you're doing a slightly lame pastiche of Barry White songs, you'll still come out with a pretty great song, which is what All Around the World is. Like, you can talk, it's basically, Lisa Stansfield gets some big old Philly soul strings over a little 90s Casio beat, and then does the whole Barry White thing, all the lyrics about heartbreak, does a little I I I on the chorus, and just really tries to give you something good for your soul. Like, this, this is just a nice song to listen to, just, sheer prettiness of it all with the strings going her her vocal intonations it's just lovely melodies you, f you feel nice when you're listening to it which is kind of hilarious because the song is actually about like being hugely regretful after doing a guy dirty and then he leaves Lisa and her wishing that he would come back to her like this is completely about a relationship gone horribly wrong and yet it's so romantic and chic how they do it well, honestly, it's not that surprising, because it's a very human, romantic sentiment. It's her pouring out her heart, all the pain that's inside, and like knowing that she did this guy so wrong, but she just wants him back. It's kind of heartrending. The reason that it's so low on the list is that, let's face it, again, the whole early 90s production problems, you know, the drum beat is just teensy-weensy. And also Lisa Stanfield's voice, she's, she's good, is just not very Barry White. There's not a lot of grit to her. She's a very polished 90s pop voice, and it still does pretty great for a soul song, but, you know, still. I still ended up really enjoying this. Number 9, Everybody, Everybody by Black Box. Turns out that much like CNC Music Factory, this was another dance group that had Martha Walsh sing some songs and then didn't credit her and kicked her out of the music video, which is a shame. But this is still a great song. It's one of those classic 90s house bangers. Just everything but to perfection. Just start off with that little tiny bit of drum, that little riff, some guy going ow in the background. It's just... And then it just keeps going. And Martha Walsh shows up and she starts singing, doing the ooh, ooh, ooh parts, and the, the horns come in. Oh, the horns. Oh, the bass line. It's just perfection. It's just one of the most supremely danceable songs of all time. It's just so beautiful. And really, it's one of those things that goes to the conventional wisdom that dance music is at its best when it's ripping off disco. Because this is a hugely disco song. It's just glorious in all the hooks, all the riffs, just... I just love this song, guys. You should go listen to it. it and it's just everyone, because it's for everybody. It's for everybody, everybody. You got it. Good. Number eight, Epic by Faith No More. On first listen, I didn't really expect to put this one on the list because the vocals are What's going on with the vocals, man? Uh, Faith No More, apparently they're some sort of alternative group. I never really got into them. And they've just got the most mind-boggling <laughs> combination of obnoxious white guy vocals that you could get in the 90s. They've got the over-aggressive posturing rap guy, and they've got super nasally voice. but you can't Sounds like Limp Biscuit featured on the Scrubs theme or something. Ugh. <laughs> Those vocals, man. But then, 
what really gets it. They rock hard. This is just such a towering achievement of music. Like all these guitar lines just going at it. Just boom. You can just feel it in your soul. Yeah, yeah. It's just anthemic. And then it goes into all the solos, the drums going at it. And then it, at the end, it just goes into this nice, lovely piano bit. Like, just, ah. It really is epic. That's, that's what it is. It's not really supposed to be about anything. I don't think it's just, you know, 90s rock, sometimes they don't really care about lyrics. It's just an epic. This huge journey from whiny white boys to grandiose guitars to huge solos to piano. I think that's that's really something. That's that's a song that needs to stick around. Go listen to Epic. Number seven, Rome by the B-52s. What can I say? This is just a bop. You know, the B-52s, they're a band that's here to have a good time doing their whole thing, you know, where it's like, the 50s cheese meets the 60s groove meets the 80s excess meets the honestly kind of 90s sense of self-awareness and it really works on this one rome is just a really good song. it's another good song guys it's just a really good song they've got just this tight impeccable groove all these little guitar lines going and then the those main singers that they, they don't bring in the you know how in Love Shack, there's the one guy who's sort of doing the spoken word rap. There's a sound around town at the side of the road or stairs. Fair cream. That guy, he doesn't show up on this one. It's just the it's just the ladies doing what would end up becoming the cranberry style singing, that very high keening, affected style, and it really works. This is just a very good driving song. It's just very triumphant. It's just a big psychedelic vibe as you're hearing about. Just, hey, if you want to roam somewhere, go do it. This is a song about freedom, being able to go out and journey. You're able to do what you want to do. It's just, you know, it's a nice song. I can get behind that. It's a huge vibe. Huge vibe. Number six, Here and Now by Luther Vandross. Typically, I'm not too big of a fan of 90s ballads. And this one does have a few of the sins, you know. Very cheesy keyboard production. The, almost no drums whatsoever, just super slow. Very sentimental. Usually with these songs, I'm completely repulsed, you know. Well, not completely repulsed, but I'm pr bored pretty quickly and want to skip out. And, you know, it could have ended up that way with Luther Vandross on this song. There are two things. One, it's just a really heartfelt declaration of love. He's just pouring out his soul. He just wants to be with the lover for all his life. It's just, that's a nice sentiment. The real reason it's on this list is, have you heard this man sing? Oh, oh. it knocks something out of your chest every time he hits here and now. A promise to love faithfully. I, I cannot do justice. I can never do justice to Luther Vandross's voice because it's just it's the most. Oh. It's angelic. It's sublime. It's superb. I cannot overstate how beautiful his voice is. He's just. And it just makes all the. You know, what could be just a very schlocky thing in the hands of a lesser artist. It makes you feel it so much. He will be there faithfully, and he will love you tenderly, because that voice, man. Could a man with that voice ever do you wrong, I ask you? And even the, the back track, you know, it works for that because it's all pretty, but restrained so that Luther can just, here and now. Ah. Just, it's a fantastic song. He's just such a good singer. And this is number six. Let's get it. We'll be right back with the top five best hit songs of the year 1990.